Okay, look at I might have been a little bold in my claim that we might be able to cover um we might start tools of destruction, but it does look like at least if we keep on track on pace with how we're doing right now, we might be finishing up your arsenal tonight. Hey Al, what's up? Let's see. The neural matrix of this autonomous simulacrum retains an imprint of the template's original psyche embedded at its core level. Um, you lost me after... let's see. He means it may be possible to reverse the process. Dude, 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 what a trip. What a trip! Cool, I guess. Uh, Al, we recovered a data disk from Nefarious's cruiser. Can you decode it? Of course. Hmm. Yes. Ooh. Omega class asymmetric encryption. <laughs> Finally, a challenge worthy of my skills. <laughs> oh, by the way, we found something interesting in Quark's quarter. Oh? Hey, if it's another crotchetizer, I don't even want to. It is a Quark vid comic. Specifically, it is episode five of the Doctor Nefarious series. But as everyone knows, only four issues were ever published. Not even my pals in the Quark Cadets fan club have ever heard of this issue. And those guys are real geeks, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I sure do. Thanks, Al. We'll check it out. God, the fucking crotchetizer joke. That's something that completely went over my head to an extent as a kid. As an adult, what the fuck? The true story that Captain Quark hoped you would never see. The unauthorized, uncensored, and utterly unbelievable missing chapter of the Quark comic series. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, that's Just Slim Cognito. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But he was dead wrong. Bottoms up. Somebody say something. What took you so long? I was picking out some new curtains for the torture chamber. They're crushed velvet with a gold lame trim. Oh, I think they really add life to the space. Never mind, hmm. now. Hmm. No. Quark, let's get out of here. Lawrence is good at decorating. Oh, course, that actually sounds like a good oh, color. Quark. Courtney Gears? I've never met a man like you. After you, I'll be ruined for other men. That's what they all say. The fuck? <laughs> Ah, where am I? You're in my secret prison, awaiting the most ingenious and depraved punishment I can possibly imagine. Come, Lawrence. It's time for my massage. Oh, goody. You are ahead, yeah. sir. As I locked it, Quark eventually managed to open the door to his cell. Almost got it. But his escape did not go unnoticed. Uh oh. Welcome to the last vid comic, and it's a scrolling level. I'm gonna be taking a lot of a lot of sloppy hits, mostly because I'm trying to get all the tokens and run away from well death. So yeah, that's what they're doing. They're flying the facility with boiling acid. Okay, how the fuck do I get up there? I thought the acid was instant kill, but you do have some wiggle room. I 
I believe it get, if it gets above Quark's head, it will instant kill. I'm not gonna lie, I I don't think people wanna know what I thought Nefarious just said. Uh actually you know what, I'm gonna go that way again because I think there's more. I don't know if you can get all the tokens on one run here. If I can't, then I will do another run, just because that's a decent chunk of bolts. Okay, yeah, no, so, okay, knowing that, I just... I'm gonna go up the other side this time. You know, I feel bad for Nefarious' henchmen. Like, the Gooch for Les guy was very nice. Ah, oh, fuck. I just call him Goons for Less. That's their- No, uh... I- Thugs for Less has recently rebranded. They are now Goons for Less. Which I find hysterical. <laughs> More popcorn lords. Everyone needs a Lawrence in their life. Okay, now I'm curious what kind of popcorn Lawrence gave him. Let's see, two tokens away. And I believe they're both on this segment, hopefully. There we go, there's the titanium, there's the titanium bolt. And that's the last Quark vid comic. Twenty. wow. That's, that's a decent chunk of bolt. After his narrow escape from the clutches of Dr. Nefarious, Quark dropped out of the public eye. Truth is, Quark was holed up in his secret hideout on the Thran asteroid, terrified that Dr. Nefarious would make good on his promise of revenge. When Nefarious didn't resurface, Quark assumed he was gone forever and returned to his career as a high-profile celebrity superhero. But the galaxy had not seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Ouch! What do you think you're doing, you oaf? Do hold still, sir. This is a very delicate procedure. That's yeah, sir. That should do the trick. Go ahead. Take her for a spin. What's going on? Where are my arms? Whose butt is this? <laughs> oh, my mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. Laura! Oh, Lance. Oh, my. We will have to get that fixed. <laughs> One of these days. I don't think it's been fixed to this day, and it better never be fixed. It's great. I should have known Cork was full of it. But why would Cork lie to us? 
Because he's Quark, he's bogus, bogus, bogus. You can ask him yourself when we see him. I, I agree, Robo Skid. Comic, Quark has a secret hideout in the Thran asteroid belt. I've got a hunch he's there right now. <laughs> he says he wants to come with us. I don't think that. Oh, wait a minute. You speak monkey? Oh, just enough to get by. Wait, it's Wayne! <laughs> Now what? He says you have ears like a Florana dung beaver. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Let's see if he's still laughing when he finds out his pal Quark is working with Nefarious. Major Bogus. Surely Quark would never... He teamed up with Drek, didn't he? And I know I don't have to remind you about that protopet business. Who knows what he's capable of? I... I'd like to say Ratchet's wrong, but... Nah, nah, everything he said just did happen. Quark tried to instigate a galactic threat to make himself a superhero again. Not to mention teaming up a Drek and nearly destroying everything. I believe we have to arrive on Quark's hideout. I think there's only... I think there's only four more planets left. And one's not even a full planet. I just went on sale. If you get here fast. Let's go pick up the bouncer. I don't think I need a, a reminder. The bouncer was a gun and going commander that was a uh, cluster bombs that bounced. Really good in close quarters combat. Like if you're in like a tight space, you just fire that and those mines will kill anything. And the nice thing, since I have data, save data, and I owned it, it's free. Looks like you two got connections in high places. Yeah, okay, so there is a theory that Slim is getting these guns from Mr. Fizzwidget himself. And that is why all of his guns are, well, covered by the Megacorp warranty. Yeah, okay, so we're at the Quackinator is the last gun we can buy during the main story that is new to Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Um in that case, give me a second. Let me just rebind all these.
go. Yeah, we finally get to see them. The the infamous lawn ninja. We had them mentioned back in um uh going commander, but now we get to see them. So the way the war pad works is press triangle on one of these pads, and you'll leave a you'll leave a marker. Once it's been registered, press circle, and ratchet will teleport to it. Leave it to Quark to have robots in his image. I mean, Grant, is anyone surprised by this? Unironically, well, funny enough, these Quark robots, I'm pretty sure, hit harder than Quark himself. Back when we fought him on um, the floor in Florana. Okay, upgrade to the displayed gun. What is that? Improves its homing capabilities. This this gadget, on all honesty, the warp pad, uh, kind of has the same issue as the um. Uh, why am I drawing a blank on its name? But as the hypnotizer in um, Going Commando, it comes so late in the game, it doesn't really get a chance to be useful. Fuck dealing with ice physics, I have turrets. Oh, this screams trap. Oh, I forgot to be three.
Okay, give Quark one thing. Man knows how to invest in a security system. Holy shit. Like, in all honesty, Quark really does know how to pick his security systems. That is some that is some frame drops. Let's make it worse. I love this thing. It's this is one of my still one of my favorite weapons in the franchise. Up, uh, wait, is that Quark? And of course, the Captain Quark trophy would be here. Ah, well, shit. And yep, it's been a while, but let's play as Clank again. Let the microbots go deal with that. Oh! That just instant kills Clank. Okay, that's good to know. I thought they would just deal one, the lasers just deal one damage.
don't even have much to say about this last clank section. It's just like every other clank section. I mean, I do like the fact that, like, Clank gets his own sections. It's something unique that, uh, to be honest, Jack didn't even start doing, if I remember correctly, until Jack 2. Uh, and Sly, well, and Sly to you plays the whole gang, so that's a different, his is a whole different situation entirely. Up, oh, and here we go again. Gun. Banana. Monkey! Hello, Dr. Anime! Got way on scrunch. <laughs> ah, look at Clank go. Break, break. Thankfully, Scrunch is immortal. Oh, really? They don't just, ex uh, you know, invest in a weapon for Clank. Surely there's gotta be one for a bot his size.
go. Get all three. And with that, the last, if I remember correctly, the last clank section of the game is completed. Hey, little buddy. How'd you find me here? We found your secret vid comic, Quark. Oh, that. Well, I don't expect you to understand. You'll probably look at me and think, I'd give anything for a body like that. No. Or just one drop of his raw animal magnetism. One I owe no. to impeccable. Can we just skip to the end, please? Uh, let's see, where was I? Sexy, charming, brilliant, iron, hard, abs. Ah, yes, but despite my outward appearance of utter perfection, well, um... Deep inside, you're a cowardly wuss? No, not exactly. When I escaped from that star cruiser, cheating death by mere nanoseconds, I suddenly realized something very important. I could have died! Me, Captain Quark! Imagine an entire galaxy with no more me. And for what cause? So, a few trillion people get turned into robots. Who am I to say who should or shouldn't be turned into a robot? <laughs> You're pathetic, Quark. I can't believe I once looked up to you. Let's go, Clank. The people of this galaxy need you, Quark. They believe in you. You can give them hope. You have a chance to redeem yourself and become the hero you have always wanted to be. Yeah. Quark wants to be a he, he wants all the perks of being a hero, but he doesn't want to actually have to do the work of being a hero.